everyone. Welcome back to RTS. And what are we going to do today? Well, you know, record the story. I am in day 28 of load. So that means for me, I have done 27 for 27. Ain't no stopping me now. <laughs> no, I have four more days and I'm going to push myself to do all 31 days. I haven't done that in a long time. It's just working out that way. So what are we going to do? Well, first of all, I think we got punked today. Yes, I think we got punked because we went on today's prompt and it took us back to last February's load event on day 28. So I think Alice punked us on purpose because it's the whole bait and switch meme. I think that's what she did. And if it's not, I'm still going to go by that prompt because that's what load is. You can take it however you want. Okay. You don't even have to go on prompt. You can, you can work on an album of a trip from 10 years ago. There is no rules. Just get a layout done a day and get it posted. So the prompt from day 28 of last load was to scrapbook about travel or what traveling reveals about yourself or actually scrapbook about scrapbooking and what does that reveal about you or your family or your life in general. And then a technique prompt was to do a layout with only three colors, which would be black, white, and red. Okay, so I thought, oh my, what am I going to do? So I knew in my leftover bin, I have lots of travel photos, so that's what I did. I thought I saw the word travel, I went to my leftover bin, and I found these three leftover photos from traveling from 1999, 2007, and I'm not even sure when that was. 2007 2004 so I have a variety of years don't matter because it's the story and the story is about traveling and what it means to me and what it reveals about me and my family and I'll tell you right now my um, dislike with a capital D of packing will be in that story so true so I knew when I saw these photos I thought oh bright happy cheerful I thought yes here we go Pink Fresh BU knockoff time. Pulled that out. I mean, I'm talking like in two minutes. I have everything I need to my left, to my right. I'm ready to go. Has to be a quick page. So when I went to go find a sketch, I literally leafed through my binder, find one that had three photos, looked like a simple design. That's what I went with. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this one right here. So I'm going to need about three or four pieces of paper. And if I need any mats, guess what I have to my left? Scraps. And I have six by six pads. <laughs> So I'm covered. I'm not going to stress about it. I just know it needs to be a fast page. And actually, it's got to be so fast that my hands are shaking a little bit because i got to get it done. Oh, well, but that is what you do when you do a challenge. You push yourself. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so it's time to get busy with picking these papers. I only need three or four. And so, of course, right off the bat, this mint green, I don't know why that's drawing me to it, but it's going to be a quick decision. Well, there we have a mat. <laughs> Okay, that was easy. Oh man, could it all be that easy? Whew. And again, you know, I don't ever have my photos far to hand when I'm picking out papers. Okay, play it. You know that's not going to make it. Don't have time to deal with foil. <laughs> and that's one thing about playing with a kit. The more you play with it, the more you know what you have. And you become familiar with it and it becomes easier and easier when you're using your kit. Yeah. And then, of course, I'm going my mood and feel, so it's not going to be hard. I, I don't know. I feel like I have like a tropical thing going on. I, I don't, I don't know. I, maybe because this is going to be probably my focal or maybe I'll make it my focal. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I will tell you right here. You see these papers from the Reset Girl? That's a pretty color. Oh, that's a very pretty color. Do I or don't I? But anyways, the reason why they're in here is because when I'm working on other projects and I have leftovers, if they remind me of something like of a kit I've already done, I will simply put them in a kit because then it just keeps giving me more options as I'm using this kit. And this is one of those options. Do I or don't I? It could be an option. Why not? I got two of them. Oh, and that's why I wanted to say, because when I was working on another um, project, I had, where are they? Here they are. I had leftover silver embellishments. Rather than taking them to my color box, I bagged them up, threw them in with this kit. Again, just more options. And I think part of it is because I'm too lazy to put things away at times. Shh. <laughs> Honestly. So I'm just like, it's out and about. Might as well put it with something that I could use. You know, just keep, just take it from one project to another. Not feeling the coral. A blue is not getting it. Nope. Well, that's kind of. 
Well, that would be kind of tropical, wouldn't it? But then, no, that's not all tropical. Keep on moving. Well, I just said that's not tropical, but this sure is. Again, I was working on another project. This was, um, I just said, um, so sorry. I was working on photo matting ideas, and I had these papers laying around, and it reminded me of Pink Fresh because of this turquoise and green. Yeah. Mm. Do I? Well, you know what? <laughs> Janet. Okay, and this is the B side, which I already know because I've been playing with that. Okay, what do I do? I love to have time to scrapbook, but I'll be honest with you, sometimes when I have to rush things, ugh, I don't like that. So I just need to take a breather. I'll just take something else off my plate <laughs> to get this done today. But, you know, it's Memorial Day. You want to spend time with the family. It's a holiday. You know, of course, you know, house duties and yard duties. Do I, could I get another mat in there? None of those are going to work. None. None of those are going to work. Pink, no. Well, okay, let's try with this. Okay, that's what we're going with. I don't know how it's all going to come together. <laughs> but we'll figure it out. That's going to be my options. And I kind of like that kind of gives me a mood of feel I guess because this photo was sticking out in my brain okay so there's my papers okay so that's what I wanted to say when you have leftovers from another project don't be afraid to put it in with another project and keep cycling it through and keep seeing what you can use of it I love that okay so there's my papers there's my sketch there's my photos and again if I need any scraps there's the six by six already there I have my scraps and my page protector and look what I have here I already have all these alphas, all these choices. So any of those, I mean, you could even do orange if you wanted. There are no rules, right? So I have my alphas to my left. I have embellishments to my right. <laughs> I mean, oh, well, look at that camera. That would be a good option. Oh, yes. Okay. So I have options. And that means i got to get cracking. So I will be back with a fast and finished page. Okay? Hang on. Okay, bam, <laughs> there's my finished page, right? Isn't that what my daughter said I was supposed to say? Bam, there's my finished page. So I said I was gonna come back with a fast finished page, and this is it, yes. And so I timed myself. After I turned off my camera, it was 54 minutes from start to finish, even including my journaling. And that, to me, is a good page because I like, I like the end result. And it's a simple page, again, but it's recording the story, and it's something that follows my style. So I can't complain, I'm happy with it. So what I did was I went by the sketch and I'll have this link below. And it was your photos in a grid style on a mat, on a mat, on a mat. And that's what I did, honestly. I put my photos on white mats and then on this green mat, the palm leaf map and then my white cardstock just to bring everything in together. He gave it a little bit of balance. And so then with these photos, you know I have all these variety of colors in these photos and so what I did was I matted them in white and I think for me when I mat my photos in white it makes it look like all these colors were intentional because it makes everything pop so rather than saying well there's so many colors here and so many colors here and so many colors here I think when you match your photos in white not only do you get that pop of color but it looks like that pop of color was intentional and I like that and so that's what I did I married all these colors together and so also too when you have a nice design you you focus on this story you're not looking well they're wearing this they're wearing that they're wearing this or there's that splash of purple no it all just blends together that's how I see it and so then with my photos I took you know I had washi in my kit I just took this pink to tie in with my title and I just took those thin strips tore them and put them on now I wanted to show now I've said this before I don't really have the best luck with thin thin washi on anything I don't know and it's not just a certain brand it's just thin washi I guess because it's thin you know so this is what happens if you don't adhere your thin washi or any type of washi if you see it if you see it curling before you're done with the photo you might as well just stop and put some I use my scotch quick dry just a little dot and and I did it for all these other ones so you see how that's all they're all neat and tidy that's exactly what's gonna happen <laughs> okay so I left that so you could see and then what I did was since again I needed a fast page and I wanted an easy page I went my three clusters again 75 50 and 25 and so a large medium and a small and I had all my stickers 
here on this 12 by 12 sticker sheet. So how quick was that? And then a lot of, well, not a lot of these, a couple of these, like here, I just cut that in half. And so it's there. I, cu I cut this. And this is one thing I wanted to say with stickers. When you have st stickers, label stickers, I love label stickers, especially blank label stickers. I think that's my second favorite. Well, no, I like word stickers. But you see, you see this uh, fishtail. That was one sticker. Okay, so I cut that in half because now I have two stickers, but they have two different designs. So I love that. I love when you can just cut stickers in half, get twice the amount, and then sometimes twice the design. And again, with this white stitched, it was supposed to be a button. I cut it in half because I wanted to get in my white by visual triangle. And then all I did, the only thing I had to pull from my inventory was gold enamel dots, if I can pick that up. And the only reason I did that was because if you look in my camera, I had a gold, you know, an element of gold, and I wanted, again, to tie that in. Plus, I needed a finishing touch. So if you don't know what to do, that's what I did. I didn't know what I was going to do for a finishing touch, but since I had an element of gold, I just added that metallic in the rest of my clusters, and that's what I did. And so after I got my layout done, then the prompt for today really was up, and it was supposed to do about incorrect password and anything to do with computers and robots and that type of thing. So one of the technique prompts was to do gears and robots and computers and then had the word arrows. And I thought, okay, that's what I'm going to do. So you know what I did? I came back and I added these three arrows in that cluster so I could, you know, not that I had to be on prompt, but, you know, and you know what? I'm glad because I like that addition of those arrows. You know, it's another visual triangle, but, you know, how many times you use arrows when you're traveling? So very happy with how that went and then I just added some photo corners to give more of your eye of a direction to center everything in and that's what photo corners do you see how this is you see that square it just brings everything into the middle because that's where your photos are and again I just did this in a grid fashion which came from the sketch itself so I did not have to think I just needed to do and that is what I love about sketches and I will say in our discussion board for the load event Several women were saying the same thing. They noticed that if they were using sketches, they could get things done quicker. And when you have to do a page a day, you know, if you're challenging yourself, sketches are the way to go. I, I could not have done this load without sketches. I think, well, honestly, I used a sketch on every load event. I think, or every load prompt. If I'm thinking correctly, I think I used a sketch every every time I sat down to do it. Because I think in real life, meaning when I'm not doing a load event, I do use a sketch because it just takes one element out of my thinking process. Okay, so what else did I do? I already, I chose these hot pink is what I call them. Lovely pink, okay? And I used that for my title because I wanted something quick. And also too, I wanted to bring in more of this pink. And then this pink washi. And I used these thickers alignment guide and I just put them on there. And boy, I'm telling you what, these puppies are as slick as a whistle. I love these. And I will have a product review coming up about these and perhaps a giveaway. Okay. Love these. So if you see these and you're someone that you want to maybe get out of the rut and start doing titles and subtitles in different or um in different designs. But they're, and they're not very expensive. So I think that's the all of my page. It went together quickly and I'm so happy. And I don't know if I said this because I filmed this a couple of times, but I started from start to finish it was 54 minutes and I'm, that makes me happy. So I got it loaded. It's done. And another one for the books. So come back because tomorrow will be day 29 and that means the last three days of load so i've done it so far can i get in the last three days well we will see okay so that's it for today if you have any questions or comments leave them below you guys are rocking the comments i mean and suggestions just throw them at me i write them i write every suggestion down okay and if you want to see something upcoming tell me i'll write that down too and there should be I don't know. I lost track. There's a lot of different, <laughs> a lot of different videos coming up. So just hit the notification button, and you'll you'll know when something something happens. Okay. And what else did I want to say? There's gonna be a giveaway coming up. Stay tuned for that. And that's it. I think. Other than come back to RTS because you never know what we're gonna learn. <laughs>